Today we're going to fill out a seating chart for a Raleigh County school bus. Up here at the top we have the driver's name. You'll put your name here, but for today we're going to have Tim Covey as our driver. Over here you'll put your bus number, and we'll have Tim on bus one. Up here just list what the uh, seating chart's for, so this will be for his elementary. Over here in the driver's seat, this is where Tim is located. Across from Tim, you will have the loading door. The students will get on and they come down the center aisle. Right here, this is seat number one. This is for your hand sanitizer and your face mask. Over here, this is seat number two. This is your sick seat. It will stay empty unless you have a student who is sick. Over here, we have seat three. We have a couple of preschoolers sitting here. We'll have John, Kevin, Tingler. They both live in the same house, they're both siblings, so they can sit in the same seat. Across from them, we will have a kindergartner named Mary King. Notice the last names. Last names are very important, guys. On our bus, behind her, we're gonna skip seat five. We have room for some social distancing, so we'll go to seat six, and we're gonna put another kindergartner, Barry White. Then with some more social distancing, we will put another student, Jennifer Clay. We can skip a seat here, skip this seat, we can come down to here. We can do, uh, this would be seat 10, Judy, Hamrick, Hicks. Remember guys, last name is very important. With some more social distancing, we, would skip a, we can skip a couple of seats. At this seat, we would put our student, Dale Way. At the same stop as Dale, is a good friend of his, so we could seat them across from each other. That'd be Lee Keller. There's another young lady who gets on the same stop with these guys. We could put her right behind them. That could be April Gavin. Then with a little bit more social distancing, we could come down to seat 18. And we could put Bobby and Amy Warden. They both get on the same stop. They both live in the same house, so we can have them seated together. Then back here, we have a couple of young men who are a little older upper grades, we can set them back here and have James Fields. Remember guys, last name is very important. And over here we can put another one. We can put Paul Landy. Again, make sure you got the last name. On your bus cards, you should have the phone number for these students in case something happens you need it. And this is how we will fill out our seating charts for our buses. Thank you.